I, I, I would just say questionable, but uh, you know, he, he was feeling better this morning, so we'll, uh, we'll have an update tomorrow morning. So after digesting last night's game, did it taste any better this morning? Definitely not, um, but um, I think it's important to keep accentuating the positives. Um, we've gotten a lot better the last few weeks, and uh, not easy playing with eight guys. And um, the effort was there, and the, the defensive consistency has improved dramatically. The offensive execution, for the most part, during the game was purposeful you know we, we took care of the ball we moved the ball fourth quarter when the pressure came we didn't we didn't execute but that's kind of the next step for this this young group and uh, so that's uh, that's that's what we're aiming to improve upon um, as a as a group you know the players but also the coaches you know we have to do our part to put them in the best position to succeed and uh, so it's kind of one step at a time. And having said all that, I'm, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a long time in, in one capacity or another, and I see a lot of really positive things from this team. And we're going to get some people back. You know, we've been uh, hampered by a lot of injuries, but you know, we get D'Lo back, we get Loon back, we get Draymond back. Um, what the young guys have done, what they've helped to build in the early part of the season foundationally, we're going to start winning some games, and and uh, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. As well as Bowman was playing last night, just straight up with Chris Paul so much of the time. Did you like his chances in isolation there at the end, and that was that second to last possession? Did you like his chances in ISO there? Well, we were searching. You know, those last few minutes, we were scrambling against the pressure. Um, really, most of the fourth quarter, Oklahoma City really ramped up their pressure, and. Um, about the last six minutes or so, we, we really struggled to score. So we were trying to, to find open shots, and uh, Kai was having a great game, and we were putting him in pick and roll. Um, but we didn't do a good job. Um, I didn't do a good job as a coach of uh, creating the right spacing, uh, getting the, the, uh, the right uh, pieces in the right places on the floor um, to enable uh, Kai to have the, the space he needed. And uh, so this is the kind of stuff that uh, we will be working on and getting better with. Glenn said last night that he thought you guys in the last few minutes got away from what he'd been doing all game. Yeah. How much of that was because of what OKC was doing on defense and how much of it was just feeling the heat of the game coming down to the final minute? I think it's both. I mean, it, you know, it's always more difficult to execute down the stretch, um, even for a veteran team, just because of the uh, – the intensity of the defensive pressure. It's not possible to put that kind of defensive pressure on for 48 minutes. So, you know, it's easier to execute in the middle of the second and third quarter when you're playing against normal defense. And then all of a sudden, the last six minutes, you know, all hell breaks loose and they're denying everything. That's where you have to learn to execute. And uh, that's our, our next step as a team. But I, I give Oklahoma City a lot of credit. They did a great job defensively. And, uh, and we've got to be able to counter that with uh, better execution ourselves. How much of the breakdowns just have to do with you got eight guys that are playing a lot of minutes and they've been doing so for a while? Well, I think uh, it's an excuse. Um, it's a valid excuse. But uh, I point more towards uh, our own lack of, of uh, spacing and, and execution rather than fatigue. Um, our guys put in the, the the effort to win that game last night um, but we we were not prepared well enough uh, to, to finish a game like that and that's uh, it's a combination of just being really really young and uh, as a coaching staff um, you know f focusing on a whole lot of things trying to bring this young group along and needing to frankly needing to to uh, put more time in on situational stuff, late game execution, that kind of stuff. As a player, there's no experience, no substitute for experience, and uh, that's the good thing. Is last night will be a great learning tool. The bad thing is, it's yeah, it's no fun. Is that like the main part of the film that you'll focus on? Is like those last three, four minutes? 
We, uh, we watched a lot of film already this morning, and a lot of the film was of, of the meat of the game and the good stuff that we did and to put us in position, and then we also watched the last couple minutes of, of uh, our execution. So it's a good, good day to learn for all of our guys and um, light day physically because of the, the, uh, the minutes and the fact that we've got a game tomorrow and we're playing eight guys. How have you found the mood in the building with the season not feeling great? Just in general? The, the, yeah, the mood's still good. We have great guys, um, really, really uh, special people. Um, you know, and, and keep in mind, we have young players who are playing for their careers. Um, we have veteran players who have bounced around the league a little bit. Uh, so we have a, a whole group of players who, who all want to, to really um, succeed. And this is a great opportunity for them. And um, so their their spirits are still high. It's still early in the season, you know. We're not even a quarter of the way through, so we have a lot of time to uh, to rectify some of the things we're not doing well. And um, I was but, talking more about the mood in the arena, the fans. And the oh, the fans have been great. Our fans are fantastic. Uh, just the energy in the building, um, the the, uh, the support we feel from our fans, even in a season that has gone uh, like this. Um, it's incredible, just the uh, the quality of our the support that we get here. How do you feel your eight guys have responded in the last three games? Chemistry, conditioning, tapering, succeeding. Uh, last three games. Well, you've had eight for, for three games. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, well, the Dallas game was uh, it's rough. You know, I think fatigue was a factor right from the beginning, and Dallas just took it to us and, and uh, that one felt like an aberration to me. The last two games have felt more like what our team is really about, which is uh, young guys trying to execute, trying to learn and competing the whole way through and hanging in there. And uh, so both these, you know, these last two in Utah and last night here against OKC, uh, good, good reflection of, of who these guys are and how hard they're playing. We could have used Draymond Green and D'Angelo Russell for sure, and Kavon Looney would have been very helpful. Uh, Jacob Evans would have helped. Uh, sure, yeah, you need you know you need bodies in the NBA, especially to get through the long haul. And and playing eight guys, you know, as long as I've been doing this 30, 31 years in the league, um, it seems like maybe once or twice a year you have eight guys, maybe because of crazy circumstances um, so for us to be doing this almost routinely now is uh, I've never seen it and uh, so it's a testament to the group the elite eight that I like to call them the elite eight's doing a hell of a job hanging in there and you have eight tomorrow. probably although Draymond Draymond could be playing tomorrow we'll see Uh, we're, we're literally unable to add an extra guy because of we're hard capped by uh, the the uh, the D-low to sign and trade. So right now there's actually nothing we can do. Even though you have like 300,000 plus, I guess. Uh, yeah, but not um, not we're not going to use it right now. Yeah, that we want to maintain our flexibility because we've you know. Remember, one of our eight guys, our starting point guard, is on a two-way, and he's quickly using up his days. And um, and then one of our injured players is uh, another two-way, and so it doesn't make sense to burn through the final few hundred thousand dollars we can spend right now. Yeah. What, what about the other injured, injured guy? Might be after Draymond. Uh, well, Draymond is soon, and uh, you know we. We feel like Looney and uh, D'Angelo um, you know, are, are behind Draymond, but not too far behind. There, we feel like there's a chance that we could uh, see them after this road trip. Even earlier, you said you felt like the young guys had established the foundation. What do you mean by that? What kind of foundation are you having this so far? Uh, the, the defense early in the season, we were springing leaks left and right, and we, we didn't have an identity. We didn't have... A, a pattern that we could count on and I would say over the last two weeks our defense uh, has improved dramatically um, 
in terms of um, the execution of doing what we're doing and doing it consistently and watching it on tape and seeing that guys are playing together, they're on a string, they're, they're executing the game plan. None of those things were happening a month ago. So uh, we're playing together, we're, we're more unified, we're, uh, we're more fundamentally sound. Is that just time together? Is that living together? It's time together, but it's also, uh, you know, we just, I think, figured some things out t together, coaches and players watching a lot of film. Um, you know, continuity is such a big deal in this league, and we literally, once we had all the injuries, we literally had zero continuity. Um, so we're playing, you know, nine guys who had never played together before, and it, it, I think it took us, um, you know, and, and maybe even longer because we didn't eliminate Steph from the picture until his injury. So, you know, we spent all of training camp doing a lot of the, th the things that we did last year. And then once Steph got hurt, we had to revamp everything. So uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff on the fly, but over the last couple of weeks, it feels like the group has gelled. Um, hopefully that'll start showing up more in terms of wins and, and, instead of losses. Thanks, guys.